Hey guys, it's Ness here and today I am making some popsicle cakes. I'm going to be taking a slab cake and turning it into four awesome popsicle and ice cream cakes for you. This was really, really fun. Um, basically, I just used a slab cake and I found some images online, little silhouettes of some popsicles and I just made them a little bit larger in the printer and printed them out and then I just went around the edge with some sticky tape so that I could use them as templates. I'm going to chop off the little end because we don't need that to be made out of cake but you want to go ahead and cut the rest into their shapes using a bread knife and a steak knife. Now I probably could have made five cakes if I was um, being a little bit more careful with my cutting and made another cute skinny one. You can make them in any shape that you like and you want them to go ahead and add some soft buttercream, just our sweet American buttercream recipe. It's just icing sugar and butter and you want to ice the cakes. I want them to be in bright colors underneath so that when you bite into them they have the color on the inside as well as on the outside. I've just put them onto little cake plates just to make them easier to move around and to cover. And I'm not going to chill these. So as soon as I've done the buttercream, I'm going to move straight on to working with our modeling chocolate. Now I'm using modeling chocolate because it sets really firm as long as you pop it into the fridge, whereas fondant can take a little bit longer and modeling chocolate tastes super yummy. So I'm using some corn flour or also called cornstarch to roll it out a little bit with a small rolling pin. Place it on some parchment paper and whack that whole thing into the fridge for about a minute or two. Once it's nice and firm, I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and I want to cut it into the shape. But I want it to be longer because I want to be able to place half of this into the cake itself. So I'm also cutting off some little corners just to make it nice and easy. And then I'm going to pop these back into the fridge for about a minute. Now it's time to roll out and cover these. You can use fondant again, but I really like the taste of modeling chocolate. And with a shape like this, it's sort of, you can kind of do either. It's up to you. I like modeling chocolate because I'm a huge white chocolate fan. So I'm gonna be using that for all of my mini cakes. Roll it out reasonably thin, and then place it over the cake and just smooth down the sides. Because these are really short, it's nice and easy to do this and it won't bunch up on you. I use my pinkies just to make sure that it's pressed against the bottom. And then I'm taking a pizza cutter to cut off most of it around the outside. Be sure to stash it into a bag quite quickly so that it doesn't go hard and you can use it again. Use the pizza cutter again. And then I want to come back with an X-Acto knife and just cut off the edges and the corners a little bit just to make sure that it's super perfect. Now I'm using a flower making tool that's called a ball tool just to make indentations kind of like popsicles have where you've got two little ridges going along the center. I'm going to be making one that looks like an ice cream as well. So I've got a beautiful minty green shade. And I'm going to be placing this over the top of one, trimming it up just like I did with the pink one, but I'm not going to add any texture to this. I'm going to be using some modeling chocolate that's more of a milk chocolate shade. You can either tint it with chocolate brown food color or you can make the modeling chocolate with milk chocolate in the first place. I just colored this because I already had heaps and heaps of the white chocolate. I'm going to go ahead and place it over half of the cake. And then I'm going to take my craft knife and cut it out so that it looks like little drips pouring down the ice cream. Just pull the excess away and then I'm going to take three more colors and roll out really, really thin sausages to make my own sprinkles. So you can use any colors at all that you like. You could also use jumbo sprinkles if you don't want to make them yourself. But I really th thought that these looked kind of cute with the modeling chocolate and it had the same color as the other cakes. So it all kind of tied in really well. I'm using just some water to apply it and as many sprinkles as you can. And then it's time to get started with another one of our popsicles, which has three colors going across horizontally. You want to get the first color down right using a pizza cutter to make sure it's nice and straight top and bottom and then trimming it to size. Then I'm going to add a color to the top of it and be sure to line it up really well so that it's nice and flush and then curve it and smooth it around the sides. Take
take your time to make sure that there's no creases and then use a pizza cutter to trim it up before getting started on the bottom color. So I've gone for our beautiful shade of pink here and I just want to coat the entire bottom of this cake now you want to be really gentle with it. You're going to need to use a pizza cutter to go around and then just use an X-Acto knife to make sure that the sides are nice and straight. So you've got your colors looking pretty. The last ice cream I'm making is to have vertical stripes. So again, I want to start in the middle, get that done so that's nice and flush and it's perfectly straight and even. And then you want to add the other two colors. Because this one is sort of squared off, it's a little bit trickier to cover. So you want to spend a little bit more time making sure that you get the corners right and that you get a nice straight line. Now I'm going to be using two cake boards to place these on because there's so many. You could use a long rectangular board if you want to as well. I'm going to apply a bit of buttercream and then place them directly onto the cake board. I don't know about you, but I really think that the ice cream one with the drippy chocolate is my favorite. I would love it if you would leave some comments below with which one you like, or what is your favorite ice cream in real life? I'm just gonna take a knife and cut out a little section here to place our stick into, and you just wanna push that into the cake. I'm then gonna grab a little bit extra modeling chocolate, and I wanna roll that into a ball and tuck that underneath at the bottom to make sure that our stick stays nice and upright. And there you have some awesomely summery, beautiful ice cream and popsicle cakes. These were super fun to make. I hope you enjoyed watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up if you liked this video.